What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It's the Earth Ma Master here on this beautiful Sunday. It is uh, October 23rd, 2022, about 11.47 a.m. California time. Uh, latest quake shows some movement with a 2.1 out on the big island of Hawaii. But also notice here around the northern California area, things starting to get pretty active. Uh, in terms of earthquake activity where we just had a 4.2 earthquake south of the Eureka area. Now this one uh, is down there at about 23 kilometers deep into the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone but a little bit more upstream um, from the uh, slippage area up towards the subduction zone itself. Uh, looks like um, it was reviewed by a seismologist here and far as did you feel it reports go, looks like a few folks did report feeling this earthquake around the Eureka and the Fortuna area and maybe areas to the south as well. So a little bit of uptick, just some very light shaking there reported. A little bit of uptick this morning. Uh, it's not uncommon to see some earthquake activity out there. In fact, the historical data does show uh, quite a few fives, sixes, and some sevens out there uh, throughout time, at least since about 1900 or so. So not unusual, right? But either way, a little bit of movement uh, kicking up there around the Northern California area today. And that's about the only one into the uh, extreme Northern California area that's listed here on this map. Uh, I know EMSC was reporting a uh, 3.6. It looks like they kept it as a 3.6 for that Northern California quake. But uh, I believe we're gonna hold steady with a 4.2 there from the USGS. The rest of California, a little bit of activity, of course, around the Clear Lake volcanic field. Once again, Bay Area, awfully quiet. Uh, only one earthquake around Concord, uh, just outside Con Concord, it looks like, a uh, 1.8. A uh, little bit of spotty movement around the Long Valley Super Volcano. Very minimal activity along the creeping section, nothing big. In fact, if you look at the 2.5 map and above here, uh, looks like they did have one earthquake earlier this morning near the San Martin area 2.7 uh, and then also overnight down south here around the San Jacinto fault zone seeing a 3.3 bringing back up the all magnitudes here uh, a little bit of spotty activity uh, near the Lancaster area looks like a 2.0 that one came in last night time frame the most recent quake here on the map looks like a 1.1 uh, right off the Elsinore fault zone. So a little bit of noticeable increase across the western portion here of the state. And um, Pacific Northwest, so not, nothing, in, nothing at all showing up. So it's kind of hard to believe, but nothing being reported by the USGS, that is. Uh, throughout the Oklahoma area, got one earthquake out here from, um, this looks like yesterday's time frame, north of Wakita. One, one earthquake out in the Texas area as well. This one coming in looks like uh, just earlier this morning time frame, 2.9 outside of Snyder, Texas. A look at the satellite imagery view here. Let's see what we got. Uh, got some fields out there, and this looks this kind of looks like a house or some type of farmhouse out there. Uh, 2.4 kilometers deep. Looking for these. Uh, these oil pumping operations, I'm not seeing any specifically nearby, but that doesn't mean there hasn't been any uh, that has been, uh, you know, pretty much eroded off the surface as far as the signatures go of it, it uh, you know, as far as the operations go. Over here a few miles, yes, we do have quite a few more, um, <laughs> a lot more, but uh, none specifically at this area of the earthquake this morning, the 2.9. Uh, movement around the New Madrid zone. Coming in earlier this morning, about 3 o'clock my time, a 2.2. Kind of about the northern end of the New Madrid area. Eastern portion of the country, pretty quiet. Uh, the Big Island's starting to move a little bit as well. Uh, looks like around the Mauna Loa area, the latest quake. Very shallow earthquake up here. 1.9 at negative 3.4. Uh, it is at an automatic review status, so this should get adjusted. Just a little weird to see an earthquake uh, kind of further up to the northwest. But we'll keep an eye on that area for sure. Uh, Pahala area looks like another earthquake here within the last hour, 2.1.
it's typical deep range down there at about 32 kilometers deep what else we got here for the uh, the global outlook the Aleutian Trench looks like uh, some movement nothing big uh, looks like the largest one a 3.7 kicking off earlier this morning and some smaller microquakes throughout the Aleutian Trench area Girl Kamchaka Trench this one coming in yesterday afternoon time frame haven't really seen too much further movement or adjustment around this area uh, did have one earthquake here it looks like in the uh, Japan Trench 4.5 that one coming in earlier this morning 65 kilometers deep which uh, is down there a little bit into the uh, Japan Trench region also outside of the uh, Izu Trench, a pair of deep, very deep earthquakes there at about, uh, man, 520 kilometers deep for at least one of them. That one kicking off a few hours ago, earlier this morning, my time. That's some deep, super deep movement, folks, into this area. Uh, with that aspect in mind, um, I think we need to definitely watch this area uh, over here west towards the East China Sea and also the subduction zone itself here remember these deeper earthquakes do trigger uh, a lot of or do produce a lot of strain and stress up at the subduction level itself right now it's pretty quiet up around the Izu trench area the surface features and the uh, Mariana trench not showing too much activity currently south of the Philippines seen some activity that one coming in uh, looks like yesterday time frame Let's zoom in a little bit see what we got for uh, recent activity well the most recent one and there's a pretty good gap of time between the yesterday's quake at about nine o'clock compared to nine o'clock this morning 12 hour gap 4.5 around the Papua New Guinea area uh, the latest one for this area 226 kilometers deep uh, the Tonga Trench that one came in yesterday afternoon time frame so a mixed bag of some new and older quakes there across the region over here around the China area that's a newer quake 5.0 uh, this morning about 8 o'clock here my time looks like just outside of the desert and also uh, looks like there was a little foreshock here a little 4.7 few minutes prior to the 5.0 well inland uh, away from the main plate boundary here And Iran, Iran, there we go, Iran, because uh, I've been corrected, but sometimes the, the, the pronunciations come out correct, and then sometimes it uh, takes a couple couple tries to uh, get it going. Iran's not a bad one to, or not a hard one to pronounce, but it's uh, one to remember. Yesterday, for that 4.5 there in Iran, down in to the South Sandwich Trench here, a 4.5, that one was yesterday as well. Not a whole lot of new movement out here across this area of the globe or the flat scale map however you want to look at it uh, down into the Peru Chile trench an older earthquake as well 5.1 we got here around the Puerto Rico trench uh, looks like a little activity this morning couple twos kicking off there uh, the 4.7 there around the Dominican Republic from yesterday so right now the activity definitely ramping up it seems like um, a mixed bag some deeper movement here around the Izu Trench and uh, the West Coast kind of lighten up with uh, some activity it should be an interesting day here let's see what we got for a Yellowstone nothing really shown up there on the map but uh, we'll check out the live or the recorded data 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 one of the two uh, see what we got here a couple earthquakes it looks like overnight and this morning time frame a few very small microquakes listed up here on the map nothing major going on uh, by the way Yellowstone is one of the uh, volcanoes there on the new volcano uh, live stream that I have keyed up along with a couple other volcanoes there mostly on the big island I am going to be switching those up on occasion um, and we'll put ones that are uh, most you know have the most activity or looking like they may have some activity right now just kind of just fired it up yesterday there's a couple 
issues I'm having with it, uh, with it updating as far as the uh, stills go on the volcanoes. Livestream, of course, uh, holds the Yellowstone webcam, which is live and streaming. But a couple of the uh, other images there, I need to get the, a few things worked out with it. But either way, Volcano Livestream is up and running there at uh, here on this channel as a secondary live stream. The trimmer map from last night showed about 244 epicenters of trimmer here, mostly into the Seattle area. And um, looks like we'll, we'll check this out later today. I'm kind of curious to see if they're going into their 14 month uh, intervals of trimmer up there around Seattle, around the Puget Sound. Sound. Definitely keep an eye on that uh, space weather today. See what we got. Maybe. If I click the button, G2 class storm. Nah, I doubt that. That's probably over. Um, but let's see what we got. Yeah, that's definitely should be long over here for that UTC time. Doesn't look like uh, we'll see too much more solar event activity. Although within the last couple hours, it looks like we're reaching up to the KP index of four. We did see G1 storm conditions there yesterday and uh, the previous night. What do we got to look forward to right now? It looks like a, a little bit of sea flare activity popping up here within the last couple hours. A couple pairs of horns up there on the map. Nothing major, just some very low C grade solar flares popping off. Um, uncertain exactly where they're coming from. Uh, potentially this new region around the uh, northeastern section of the Sun. We'll have to see how that looks as it comes into play in the next few days. Now the coronal holes and there's still that face listed up here on the Sun. Kind of a eerie looking dreaded face. Perfect for Halloween, right? Got Halloween coming up here uh, very soon. In fact, it looks like not this Monday, but next Monday. A couple eyes there and a mouth. But either way, these are coronal holes um, that are pretty much spewing out uh, high speed solar wind. And the activity we've seen over the past couple nights here with the G1 storming uh, was coming from this one when it was Earth directed and facing the Earth. We just got a glancing blow, surprisingly. I thought it would all shoot to the south, but it did allow some uh, some uh, charged particles to head our way and uh, create some auroras at the higher latitudes. Now we got these two that are facing us. They're not gigantic, but uh, this one right here looks like it will be lined up perfectly uh, to create some elevated conditions here, uh, probably after a couple days or so. As far as potential sunspot flaring activity goes, not looking likely. 35% chance for a C flare, uh, and then a lot less for the M and X flare category. Proton events don't look likely either. Either, and um, a little bit of quiet period. But we'll watch these um, sunspots again that are kind of hovering out here around the northeastern section of the sun. We'll watch them for development as they rotate into view. This one here might harbor a little bit of uh, sea flare potential, but that's about it. Things kind of minimal here across the sun right now. Uh, let's see what else we got. Anything in event mode out here? That's a uh, that's a very small window. Got to key that up a little bit more so you guys can see that. Even I had problems seeing that here on this end. Uh, doesn't look like anything out there in event mode. Everything looks calm, clear across the waters. That is good for now. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here and uh, get some stuff done here today. Got a kind of a big project I got to do uh, for the uh, one of my classes I'm taking there at the uh, college. <clears throat> looks like the EMSC has upgraded that. 3.6 to a 4.0 uh, and USGS kept that as a 4.1 unless there was two earthquakes um, which I doubt 
but uh, looks like yeah, looks like they're uh, the same earthquake, but uh, USGS showing a little bit of the larger size of the magnitude. All right, folks, have a good day. I'm gonna get busy out here and uh, stay safe. Be prepared. A train of earthquakes across the uh, region over here, mostly twos and some ones mixed in. Other than that, uh, watch the west coast and watch the uh, Philippine plate there with all that deeper movement earlier this morning up here around the Izu Trench. Things could get pretty active with all this deeper movement taking place. Stay safe, folks. We'll catch you guys a little bit later on. Peace out.